Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my full 60 vehicle CEO garage. That's right, so I have 60 vehicles in my CEO garage, which is pretty insane. 20 in garage number one, 20 and two, and obviously 20 and three. And I'm gonna be showing you guys all those vehicles right now. You've been highly requesting that I do a upgraded garage tour. So instead of bringing you to six different garages, we're gonna be showing what these look like or all my new vehicles, some old ones in the brand new CEO office. So we've got a lot to talk about today. So let's not waste any more time and let's get it started. All right, so garage number one is most definitely going to be about the new vehicles and the first three cars we have here is the brand new Elegy Retro Custom. So this first one isn't any design in particular. I just played around with the LTD gasoline company and kind of this dark red pattern right there. I love this vehicle so much though that I really wanted a lot of them. So that's the first design. This second design right here is actually based off of Brian O'Connor's from the Fast and the Furious. This is his skyline right here. So I thought that was pretty awesome. I really like this design with the Midnight Racer. And this one over here, the Elegy Retro Custom as well. It has like the Not Tonight Pizza Boy livery on there, which again is from Fast and Furious. You'll kind of notice a lot of Fast and Furious vehicles. So those are the first three, followed up by the Ocelot Penetrator. Again, one of the brand new supercars that was added. Very, very cool based off that Jaguar XJ220. And then for whatever reason, I have two different versions of an orange Pegasi Tempesta. I think one of these I was trying to base off of uh, Roman's orange Lamborghini from the Fate of the Furious, and I'm not sure why I have two of them, but for some reason, I do. All right, if we move up to floor 1B, this is actually the Trufade floor. So this is heavily based off of the new Nero and Nero Custom. You can see I've got a Nero Custom right here with a, a pretty simple livery on there and just a, a red and white, and I really do think this one looks awesome with that kind of pendulous livery right there. Right next to it, we've got the regular Nero, I like both of these cars so much that I wanted a couple different variations of each. This one in kind of a dark blue, lighter blue pattern right there, followed up by the regular Adder. That's right, the old Adder, man. Can you believe that that thing is so kind of old compared to these two other vehicles right there? And speaking of old, right next to it, we've got the Z-Type. That's right, the Bugatti Atlantic right there. That's pretty insane, but I wanted to feature this classic uh, Trufade in here as well as it is just such a beautiful vehicle. And the pattern kind of continues on the other side with another regular version of the Nero. This one in just kind of like a panda pattern, black and white. And I think that one looks pretty nice right there. And then more of an extreme Nero custom one right here with the Junkin energy drink on there. This one in kind of an orange and red. I really like using the colored rims to kind of match some of the, you know, minuter details or parts of the car. So that one's pretty awesome right there. And then we've also got this Fister 811 right here. Now, this will actually take some explaining as to why it's on this floor, because it's kind of a continuation of what we've got on floor number three. So let's go actually check that out right now. So this is the third floor of our first garage, and I told you it was an extension of this third floor because it's all about the Fister family. So we're starting off with three versions of the Comet Retro Custom, another vehicle that I absolutely love. And this first garage was definitely dedicated to the new vehicles. So this one has like the Samsung Tenshun livery on there, which I do think is really, really awesome. Uh, just the customization on these vehicles are insane. This next one has the Zero Gasoline and sort of a gray an ultra blue look right there that I think looks really, really nice. And then this one right here, I think I was just messing around with this one, kind of like a matte finish, the uh, 80s gamer one and kind of like an orange and yellow. Not exactly sure what I was going with here. I think this one was kind of an experiment one, but regardless, I have three Comet Retro Customs, which you might find is a little overkill. And honestly, I don't think you're wrong. Up next, we've got a regular version of the Comet. Once again, just continuing the Fister theme here. And then we've got the new bikes of this update. We've got the Principe Diabolus Custom with the kind of purple flames right here. Uh, I don't take this bike out a lot, but I, I do like the look, kind of sinister looking. And then we've got a version of the FCR 1000, the regular version, just kind of like a stock yellow right there, which I think is nice. And then we've got the FCR 1000 Custom, which I've made into sort of a military version with the military patina look. And I really like that, especially with the license plate on the front. I think that is such a cool look, kind of like the gasoline canteen on the back as well. 
Really, really cool stuff. I am a huge fan of the custom version of this bike. And that right there wraps up garage number one, which as I told you, all three floors are dedicated to the brand new vehicles. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's move on to garage number two. Okay, so now we're in garage number two. You can see 2A on the wall right there. And these are all of my favorite not new vehicles, uh, as you'll start to see in a little bit. So starting off, we're gonna continue with the supercar theme. Uh, I obviously love supercars like many of us do. We've got the Pegasi Reaper from Finance and Felony. Now, you'll never see me take this car racing because performance-wise, it's kind of a stinker, but I love the stock wheels. I love that it's kind of like half of a like in Hypersport, which I really like, and I just got kind of a, a random red paint job on there. So I do like this vehicle a lot. Up next, we've got the Pegasi Osiris. I started using this a lot in stunt races because there was a lot of times when the Osiris would work the best on the ramps and whatnot, and I kind of just made it this bright two-tone yellow and green paint job. I still really like this vehicle a lot, and I bring it out a lot. Up next, we've got the Dragon Zintorno. You can see it's got this kind of scaly green paint job with the fiery orange and red secondary. One of my favorite vehicles, one of the most still underrated cars to this day, just because so many other sports car or supercars have come out after it. So that's the Dragons in Torno. Up next, we've got the Subaru Rally Sultan RS with the Karen Automotive Racing livery right there. Really, really do love this vehicle. And I tried to design it off of a very popular looking Subaru uh, rally car. So that's that look right there. If we move on, we've got the FMJ. Now I love the Ford GT in real life and the Vapid FMJ is based off of like a 2017 or maybe even concept version of the uh, Ford GT. So I kind of went with like a blue and a yellow one here. Pretty simple design. Uh, again, I don't really use the FMJ a lot, but man, is it a beautiful looking car. And then finally on floor number one, we've actually got Brucey's Banshee. So if you play GTA 4, you'll kind of recognize this paint job right here with the kind of black and orange or black and gold. That is actually Brucey Kibbutz's uh, Banshee from GTA 4. And you guys know I'm a big fan of GTA 4, so that's why I had that. And that right there is floor number one of garage number two. All right, moving on to floor number two, still more supercars that I'm a big fan of. We've got the X80 Proto from Finance and Felony. This, I think, was actually from our last Star Wars stream, which is why it's wrapped in this kind of black and red design. Same with this Zintorno right here. So these are both two from the futuristic Star Wars stream we did the other day. But nonetheless, I still love these versions of these cars. I think they look really, really amazing. So that's why I've still kept them in my garage. Up next, we've got the Tyrus, and I love this car for a couple reasons. It's quick, I think it's amazing, but I love the fact that you can change the color on the stock wheels. So I used that yellow to kind of match the kind of like secondary look of this car. Just went with the purple primary. I really, really like this car a lot. Uh, big fan from Cunning Stunts. Speaking of Cunning Stunts, gotta have the RE7B. I still believe it's the quickest car in the game, so I've got one just in case I need one of those like races that maybe doesn't have ketchup or anything like that, so I'll use this quite a bit during races. That's the RE7B. We've also got the Ultra Blue McLaren P1 or Progen T20. This is also from a Fast and Furious stream uh, when we were trying to design one of those cars, and that's why it's got this Ultra Blue look on there. That's one of the vehicles you're going to see in The Fate of the Furious, which is a movie I'm very excited about. This is the ETR1, so this kind of needs some explanation why it's in this color. I tried to design it after my car in real life. Now, I don't have this car in real life, but it's the closest to what I do. So that's why it's in this kind of silver and red uh, hybrid combination right there. And that's also why it doesn't have a spoiler. It kind of looks a little awkward without one, but still really, really cool. And we've also got another X80 Proto over here with this super funky paint job too. I don't really know if this is like a crew color or whatnot, but I really like the X80 Proto, which is why I've got two of them. And that right there wraps up floor number two, from garage number two. All right, so now let's get into some sports cars. These are the sports cars that I love that are not new. Uh, this one right here is the Dinka Jester. Now, I think the Dinka Jester is based off of the Honda NSX, uh, like kind of like a race car version. Now, if I'm wrong, I apologize, but I think that car looks amazing. And the race car version of this, which came in last year's Christmas update, or excuse me, 2014's Christmas update, I think looks stunning. So I just tried to match the red wheels with kind of the red paint job that was already already on there. Uh, and I didn't do a whole lot of other customization, but man, I really love that vehicle right there as a sports car. We've got the Obey Omnis, which came from Cunning Stunts. Don't use this all that often, but it is one of those newer vehicles, so I do still like it a little bit. Same with the Lampadati Tropos Rally right here. 
I think I was using this one as like a DeLorean from one of our previous streams. And I must have changed it back to this like Italian styled livery. But that's the Tropos Rally right there from Lampadati. Moving on, you got to have one of these Anus Elegy RH8, the regular version for racing. I mean, Cars don't get much faster than this, and that one is pretty awesome as far as sports cars go. So if I know for a fact I really need to win a sports race, you'll probably see me using this car right here. Uh, I've also got the Debachi 770. You'll start to notice a theme lately. I'm a huge fan of the Aston Martin brand. So we got the orange 770 right here, which again, isn't an amazing racing car, but I still really like this vehicle a whole lot. So uh, I definitely wanted to have it in my garage. But speaking of two amazing racing cars, we've got the Masakura. I've got two versions right here, kind of this dark racing green one with some white wheels. Not sure why I went with those, but for whatever reason, I kind of liked it. And it's got that lime green pearlescent. And then this one is probably my go-to. It is the Masakura. Sacro race car and kind of this like Miami Vice style paint job on here that I think goes really, really well with the livery that is on there by default. So that is my sports car garage right there. Those are kind of my staples that I'll go to if I'm just cruising or if I'm certainly looking for racing. And that right there wraps up garage number two. All right, so let's move on to garage number three. And I call this garage the Armory Plus. And you'll see why I call it that in a second. So let's start on the bottom floor right here. We've got the Dumpsta 6x6. I think this vehicle is really underrated just because it came out such a long time ago, but it's so cool to go off-roading with because you can see all the shocks and springs. I mean, it, it, it's such a fun vehicle, not incredibly quick, and uh, you know, it doesn't have amazing customization, but Boy, do I love this vehicle. So I really like that a lot. Uh, if I'm just doing like some standard military stuff or off-roading stuff, I've just got a regular Mesa right here and kind of a, a matte green finish, which I really like. So I'll take that around if I'm off-roading or doing, you know, anything activity that might involve military or something like that. We've got my first Insurgent. Yes, I have two. I'll explain why I have two in a little bit. This one is all chrome for whatever reason. Maybe I was trying to get blown up. I'm really not too sure. Uh, but after that, we've got the Shafter V12 Armored. Boy, do I love this car. It's fast, and the fact that it's armored is really, really nice. So I love that vehicle right there. Got to have a Karuma as well. This one in the all matte black, trying to get that low profile look. And as I promised, my second insurgent. Now, why I have two insurgents is because typically when I'm in an insurgent, I'm causing mayhem and destruction. And if one gets blown up, I don't have to call Moore's Mutual. I can just phone in another one. So that's why I have two. It's kind of like plan A and then plan B right there as far as the insurgents go. So that's why I have two. And that is our first floor, which is the main part of the armory. Moving on to floor number two, it's kind of an extension of the armory with some more armored vehicles. We've got the Cognacetti 5.5 armored, well, which I will sometimes take out, not often, just because I've got better armored vehicles. Same with this one, Baller LWB. Again, that's another armored one. One I will take out a lot is the XLS armored, which is one of the best SUVs around. So if I want a little speedier option, but I still want that armor capability, I will certainly use the XLS armored. And that's pretty much it as far as the armored vehicles go. Now we're going to get into some of the more random cars that I have. Uh, we've got the Albany Roosevelt Valor. I was actually using this a day ago for a stream. So that's why you see that in there. I've also got the hearse. I love the hearse. And it's a pretty rare vehicle. So I want to keep it for maybe trying to help my friends spawn in a car or whatnot. Uh, up next, we've got the Declasse Drift Tampa. This one needs some explanation. It's supposed to be Dom's Ice Charger from the Fate of the Furious. So I know the Tampa isn't exactly a Challenger uh, or a Charger for that regard, but I think it's close enough. And the fact that it's got that like kind of wide body bolted on look, it's a reason I went with it. And then we've got the Saber Turbo Custom. On the off chance I'm stuck in a muscle car race, you gotta have one of these babies, one of the best muscle cars in the game. So that's why I have that. And that right there wraps up floor number two on garage number three. And finally, last but not least, in garage number three, on floor number three, we've got the motorbikes. That's right, you gotta have a couple motorbikes. Uh, I've got the Dinka Akuma right here, which is one of my favorite racing bikes still to this day. I've also got a Bati somewhere over here that we'll touch on in a little bit, so that's the Akuma. I've got the brand new Eski as well that came out with bikers. The Eski is really awesome, I like it, kind of like a cafe racer. Uh, the Shotaro Tron bike, definitely gotta have one of those. Obviously, that's from Deadline, uh, same thing over here we've got the shih tzu defiler from bikers as well you've got the hakatu drag which again one of the best bikes in the game a little bit hard to control for me but i still really like it uh with the bati as well one of my favorite racing bikes and 
I think my all-time favorite bike is the Western Gargoyle. Just love the way it sounds. I love like the chain on the back tire. That's like super neat. So those are my bikes right there. I don't have a lot because I'm not a huge biker enthusiast, but I still do have enough to get me around and to help me, you know, do well in races if I ever find myself in one of those positions where I am racing. But anyways, that's it right there, guys. That is 60 vehicles and three full CEO warehouse garages. I think that is insane. 60 cars. Can you believe it? I mean, I find myself using a majority of these for a bunch of different unique and individual situations, sometimes for racing, sometimes for free mode. But either way, those are my cars. And now they're all conveniently located in the office garage, which is actually great because of the way the new system works for Moore's Mutual. Having them all in different garages could be kind of frustrating to try and call them in one by one by one. So I'm actually glad I made this transition and it was pretty cool to show this off in a video for you guys. So hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know in the comment section down below which garage you liked the most. I'm very curious to hear from you. Did you like my first garage, my second, or my third? Let me hear from you guys in the comment section down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.